y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shaka! Oh y'all, it has been so long since I made a YouTube video. I am getting emotional right now. Oh my gosh. It has been so long since I made a YouTube video and I'm back. I'm ready. I'm at peace. I have so much joy in my heart. Um. Oh, oh my gosh, my next video is gonna be all the the details, like in depth. This video is just an update, just a chat with you guys while I'm getting ready. Um, but I'm excited to be back. If you're excited that I'm back. that I'm back if you want to continue to watch my content please stay tuned let's get ready come with me guys <laughs> I wanna go higher can I sit on top of you My gosh, it has been. Oh, my piercing is crooked. It has been a, such a long, long time, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. It's been 10 months. It's been 10 months since I have posted on YouTube. And today, I just have a doctor's appointment to do today, so my makeup look isn't gonna look you know crazy or anything but i decided to do a look because i miss youtube i miss posting i miss everything about being a content creator if you like if we look back like content creating i started in 2008 2009 and at one point YouTube was like my full-time job so like I really miss it my daughter tells me all the time like mommy you need to do some videos all of this like but you guys know like when Zoe was a baby I was still vlogging like I was doing life as life as Zoe's mom so I had that series going then I got into a relationship then I was dealing with my relationship then we broke up and then that's when I just was like very inconsistent with my channel but so much has changed within these last two years these last two months everything had I mean 10 why do I keep saying two months these last 10 months these last two years a lot has changed so the last time that I was talking to you guys um you guys know I had let Kyle back into my life and then we fell off. I haven't heard from him since, so I'm doing great. I am no longer living with my daughter's father. I know a lot of people who are watching this are probably like, yay sis, or some of you are probably like about goddamn time. Some of you are probably like, hmm that's what she went up to yeah but um no actually uh what's today april 19th i got the keys to my place uh, march 3rd i moved completely out of his house march 10th i have been as at peace not that Yes, there were arguments, um, but you know when, like, when you're unhappy, your peace is still disturbed. Yeah, I'm in my new place. I can get back to content. Yeah, it'll be how it was when I had my apartment. 
The only thing that I do not like about my new place is that there is a big tree that sits outside of my house. So it's blocking the natural lighting that's coming in. So that's the only thing that I dislike, but we'll, we'll get it together. I got a new job last year in June. Actually, I think that is where we left off, to be honest with you guys. I am still at that job. I had, you know, some hard times there, like uh, in the beginning not the beginning but probably three months in because we changed management um the people that i got used to they ended up leaving because they didn't really care for management um you know stuff of that nature um and it was pretty hard on me so everyone that was there when i started they're basically no longer there it's a whole new team and I thugged it out I'm that type of person that I don't like to be ran off hence to why I stayed where I stayed for so long it's I'm gonna go on my own terms I'm gonna fight until I can't no more that's how I get through my life also finally passed my real estate course Oh my gosh, like y'all know I have been studying for that for so long, but I finally passed. I just have to pass my state, my state board. Once I pass that, it's on and popping once I pass that, okay? I am not completely unpacked. I've been here for over a month and I'm still not completely unpacked. <laughs> um... I just realized that I have a lot more clothes than I thought that I did. And the crazy thing is I gave a lot of clothes to Goodwill. And I still have a lot of clothes. I just realized this is like my first video of 2023. Happy New Year. I just feel, I don't want to be like all over the place but there's so much that I want to talk about I definitely want to get back into painting that was something that I had picked up while living with my daughter's father it was something um that was more so for my mental and for my healing and I feel like when I pick up new skills it calms me it really calms me so when I do YouTube when I do makeup um, like there are times I just do makeup for the day to calm my nerves like I want to tell y'all doing eyebrows I'm looking at my monitor but it's hard it's a it's not hard to just take concentration because you don't want to mess up you mess up that's it so i'm trying to find direction for this channel i don't know if i want to stick with beauty content i do feel like the beauty content has changed drastically um you don't see too much of it you see a lot of people's everyday life that's what you see um i honestly the vlogging style i do like but if we're being completely honest there's not much that i do in the day to be vlogging my eyebrow looks really long there's yeah there's not much that i do um I could have been vlogging when you know my daughter is in cheer now and she goes out of town for cheer I could have been vlogging that but again there's not really much to show cuz I'm that cheer mom okay I'm that cheer mom that's screaming I'm that cheer mom that knows the eight counts 
I'm that I'm that cheer mom, okay? If I had to be pulled on stage to do the whole two minute routine, I would know it like the back of my hand. I'm that cheer mom. So I do have goals for this channel. I definitely want my channel to you know be where it was um as far as like you know the interest that it had for people people were interested in you know what i was posting what i was doing things of that nature so i definitely want to get that back of course, I know it takes for me to have that consistency. So I have to figure out how much time I want to get this channel. How much time I really need to put into myself to make this channel work. I did talk about my friend that passed away um in 2021 i talked about him on here yesterday was his birthday and i went to the cemetery to visit him and i feel like when i go to the cemetery i get super excited like like that's my time to not that i don't you know spend that time with him like you know when i'm just in my room by myself and you know i feel his presence type of thing it's just yeah like i it's just me him the sun I, you know just nature it's just a good feeling to be honest um so i really enjoyed my time yesterday at the cemetery i typically spend about 10 to 20 minutes there i don't want to spend too much time there i do know um probably memorial day i'll go spend like 30 minutes pull out the chair sit there for a little bit you know have some morning time with my my friend i don't know if everyone has been noticing but black china b simone um alexis sky just different people you know taking god seriously you know and they're building a better relationship with God. And to be honest with you guys, I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. I always wanted a closer relationship with God. Like, I believe in God. I know there's a God. I, you know, went to church as a kid all the time. I, you know believe in the word all of that but i feel like my relationship with god can be so much better and so much stronger because you know i want to be able to spread spread his word just naturally not when someone's going through something or i just want to be able to spread the word on the daily basis you get what i'm saying like that's the type of relationship i want to have and i'm definitely here for the spirituality or covering them up
next week I am going to a NFL draft party and I have no idea what I want to wear and it's stressing me because I have all these different outfits in mind of what I want to wear and it's like girl you gotta come to a common ground and figure out what you're gonna wear my doctor's appointment is today and I honestly I'm trying to think if I want to edit this video while I'm at my doctor's appointment because so I so I so I cannot talk. I suffer with severe anemia. Um, I have been hospitalized multiple times for my anemia, and the last time that I was hospitalized, I had to get three blood transfusions, and it was pretty scary because. I didn't have to get that many last time, I believe. And last time, my levels were a lot lower. Last time, my body reacted in a different way than this time. Um, so, like, the last time that I was hospitalized, like, I, it was around the time I was moving. Like, this time. Um, and... Like, my body really was shutting down. Like, my heart rate was through, this, through, the, through the roof. I, I couldn't function. Like, it was so weird. But this time around, I was just like, girl, you've been feeling weak for months. It's, you better figure out what you're going to do. You need to handle this. My blood levels are super super low all right i'm going in with uh my under eye powder i just wanted to talk about this part of my makeup because for one this is my favorite part highlight um yeah baking and contour but i go into the loose powder as you can see it's morphe and it's in are you gonna focus baby focus not gonna focus okay it's in banana rich so what i learned on tiktok is you dip your powder puff in your powder and then you tap it on your wrist like this tap it on your wrist and then you apply it to your eye because it's tapping off that axis and then you go back in and then you put it on the other eye like you go back into your wrist if that makes sense so yeah that's what I what I do now so it, and it just makes me look a little bit more professional you know what I'm saying me look a little bit more like I know what I'm doing <laughs> ah, crack myself up but um yeah as far as the hospital goes like it was very scary They had me as a fall risk. That I never had, okay? Never was a fall risk. So when they said I was a fall risk, I was like, girl, what? Now I have to go to the doctors every week. Up until um, July. And... They are going to give me these infusions because, like I learned yesterday when I went to the doctors, I you have iron in your body, 
but you know iron goes throughout your body but iron is also stored in your liver for when your iron is low and then your body basically gets the iron from your liver i don't have any iron in my liver at all so <laughs> um i have to go to the doctors every week so we can restore iron into my body and that way it will eventually be enough to store into my liver so we don't have to keep going to the hospital every two years because my body is drained this video is like all over the place i so apologize you guys gotta work with me because i'm trying to get back into the swing of things get this channel back up and popping popping <laughs> all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put on my mascara and my highlight and then that'll be the final look all right so i went ahead put on my mascara like i said i'm only going to the doctors so when i go to the doctors um well when i go anywhere in public i really don't do lashes anymore so if you guys do see me doing lashes it's either i'm getting ready to go out out or um it's just for youtube purposes but um i'm sorry oh my god girl I'm sorry that this video was probably all over the place. I did just want to get you guys updated with everything that is going on with me. Um, it has been 10 months and I didn't get into everything that I wanted to get into. But that will be for the next video for sure. Okay. It's going to be a little juicy for y'all. So um, thank y'all for watching. If you guys been subscribed to me for a really long time, thank y'all for thugging it out with my inconsistency, girl. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.